I've tried beating the spirit mod in Terraria, but every enemy we kill drops random items, meaning that a mob can drop anything from some random block that I will never use all the way up to the best weapon in the entire mod. Will I be able to defeat all of the various bosses of the spirit mod and take out the moon lord? Well, let's find out. I spawned in a hole with practically no way to get out. Thank god there was this tree that I could break down make platforms to get out of this ditch. So, like the simpleton that I am, I chopped down this tree and attacked every single slime in a hundred meter radius. Upon defeating some mobs, I got myself a nebula helmet, got myself some interesting accessories such as this one which poison enemies around me, and then I got attacked by an assassin. I had no idea what was going on, but I did manage to take him out successfully, and frankly I was just surprised because I never played the split mod before. I ended up coming too close to the corruption, and I got obliterated by this weird crystal creature that turned my entire screen dark. I ventured over to the right side of the world, and got attacked by a moving cactus. Of course I took it out, and then I proceeded to make my way down into a cave. This led me to the underground jungle, and within this tiny jungle region was a mushroom biome, with many mobs, meaning that we can get lots of loot. So I tried to kill as many of the mobs as I can, but while trying to pick up a weapon, I got no scope by a skeleton and ended up dying. I rushed back to that same area with a demon scythe that a mob managed to drop me, and along with this, as I was making my way back, I managed to get a summon weapon from the spirit mod that ended up clearing a path for me as I was trying to make my way further into the jungle. Once I came back to that same area, I actually realized that there was a skeleton summon there, so I grinded out these skeletons by jumping up and down on the pressure plate until we got ourselves some decent loot. I managed to get myself a spirit staff and a spirit bow, which I will later come to find are post twins items I'm pretty sure, and I also got myself a set of wings as well as this OP sword and yo-yo. Since I was close to a beehive, I ended up summoning in the queen bee, and we absolutely destroyed her with that overpowered yo-yo that I previously got, and after this I came back to spawn and placed down a massive statue that I'm going to call the lady of treebirdy, and after this I proceeded to dig myself a elevator. Within the ice biome, I actually found a naturally generated structure of this underground mansion. I'm not really sure what this is, it kind of looked like a castle, but essentially it had dormant mobs that once we broke their statues, they would summon in and try to kill us, but of course, Boya wouldn't die that easily. And so after obliterating that entire area, I continued further down until I reached the underworld, and upon coming back to spawn, I went over to the right side of the world, and once I made it to the desert, I summoned in one of the spirit mob bosses called Scarabuse. I hope this is how you pronounce it. It resembled like a fly beetle thing and we absolutely obliterated it because we had weapons far above what we should have normally had in this boss fight. And after this was done, I came back to spawn and placed down a bunch of chests so we can have an area to store all of our loot. Once it turned to nighttime, a blood moon decided to happen, summoning in a bunch of very interesting enemies and I also built myself a ton of enemies. NPC houses. There were a bunch of mini boss enemies that started to spawn in during the blood moon which were from the spirit mod and I used the higher spawn rates as my opportunity to farm out as many items as I could. During this time I also summoned in the eye of Cthulhu just so we could defeat it and check it off the boss checklist. So we took it out and along with this I also managed to get a summon for Skeletron so we took him out as well. During this time, upon killing a mob, it managed to actually drop us the Alpha Blade, which I'm fairly certain is the most powerful sword within the spirit mod, so that was pretty pog. After this, I flew up to the Sky Islands and actually managed to find this one island that had an egg on it. Of course, me being not vegan, I tried to crack the egg because I was really hungry, and I ended up summoning this bird boss called the Ancient Avian. This was a very interesting boss fight, but sadly it didn't last too long because our weapons dealt large amounts of damage. After this, I went to go to the corruption biome and fight the Eater of Worlds, which was once more a perfect opportunity to get a bunch of new loot and gear. I used this weird hand magic weapon that looked like it belonged to the clicker class, but it shot out phantom stars, and using this, we absolutely obliterated the Eater of Worlds. I picked up all of the loot that I wanted, and deleted everything that was useless, and after this, I thought I was ready to fight the Wall of Flesh. I went down to the underworld, and began the 
grind for guide voodoo demons. Another thing that I noticed within the underworld is that the spirit mod actually adds a bunch of new particle effects to the various different biomes which was very nice to see. I found a guide voodoo demon quite quickly so I killed it, picked up the guide voodoo doll and then went mining in order to get a little bit more HP before fighting the wall of flesh. During this time I found more naturally generated structures with a urn in the middle and upon breaking it apparently you'd either get neutral luck, bad luck, but I assume you can get lucky with them and it will drop you more of a resource. And while mining I also found more naturally generated structures. I spam random teleportation potions to teleport me to various parts of the world in order to find heart crystals even faster. And after I had a sufficient amount of HP I came back to spawn in order to organize all of my chests and all of my loot and we actually got invaded by goblins. I took out the goblin army, got myself a bunch of new weapons, and also fought a couple of mini bosses that spawned in during the goblin army invasion. To test out my weapons, I summoned in 10 eyes of Cthulhu. Yes, there was actually an item that we could use to summon in 10 of these bosses, and we absolutely destroyed them. I mean, the weapons from this mod were fairly powerful and very fun to use. I was not disappointed whatsoever. We finally went down to the underworld, chucked the guy guide voodoo doll into the lava and absolutely demolished the wall of flesh using that hand clicker weapon. And the first thing I did upon getting into hard mode is bless the world with the hard mode or so we can craft ourselves an adamantite forge. While scouring for adamantite I managed to get a plethora of boss summons that we will be able to use for later. And the very next thing I went to do was farm out souls of night and souls of light. I went over to the underground corruption first and got myself enough souls of night in order to craft myself a unique boss summon from the spirit mod. I went down to the underworld as this is where you can summon the boss in and I spawned in a boss called Infernon. We took him out using a sword half magic weapon called souls and now we could proceed to the mechanical bosses. Using Louis AFK ultimate battler buffs we grinded out a bunch of souls of night and after we had enough souls of night I went over to the underground hallowed biome and farmed out souls of light. I crafted myself all of the boss summons and now all we had to do was wait for nighttime to roll around. Around. Before this, I actually wanted to use up one of my summons for a pre-hard mode invasion from the spirit mod called the Tide. So I went over to the left ocean and spawned it in. This is a very casual and lighthearted wave event, so we took it out. I was shooting a bunch of mobs with a coconut gun, like come on, what, what could you not love about this? And then once it turned to nighttime, I summoned in the twins. I used a yo-yo called Ancient that shot out these lunatic cultist projectiles and then used a sword called Souls to take out the twins. And once once we actually took them out in the bottom left of the screen, I saw that the spirits spread through the land, meaning we have blessed our world with a brand new spirit biome. Boyos, do you know what would raise my spirit? if you bless the subscribe button with all of your love. Thank you, let's continue. I went to fight the destroyer next and we absolutely demolished him leaving us with Skeletron Prime. I tried to take my time with this boss just enjoying the background of nighttime and once we took out Skeletron Prime, the jungle grows restless and apparently essences are bursting. I still don't really know what that means, but if somebody could tell me in the comments down below, I'll love you forever. I went over to the left side of the world in search of the spirit biome and I actually managed to find it. I needed to get myself spirit ore in order to craft ourselves another boss summon from the spirit mod. This biome was very interesting as the deeper we got, the darker it became. And it was honestly a little bit terrifying going down here, having no source of light and these particles just blasting you in the face. But essentially once I got myself enough spirit ore I came back to spawn and crafted myself a dust crown. This summoned in a boss called the dust king and upon fighting it for my first time he actually managed to run away before I could kill him as it turned to daytime. I left him for later but the next boss on our list was Plantera. So I went over to the jungle, found myself a tiny nice spot in which I could summon her in. We didn't really need too much space because our weapons were good enough to take her out quite quickly in an enclosed area. So I summoned her in and using the souls and then later the alpha blade we absolutely demolished salad boss and golem was next on our list. I picked up a bunch of power cells as I already had a lizard altar at spawn and I decided to fight Mr. Golem right where it was comfortable for me. I tried to take him out with that clicker weapon then I tried to use the souls against him. I tried out various different weapons. This boss was essentially my weapon testing boss. I tried to just have fun with him but once we defeated golem a couple of times I went over to Skeletron's dungeon and summoned in the lunatic cultist. Using the weapons in our arsenal we absolutely demolished this peasant worshipper. 
Honestly, this boss fight could not have been any easier. And once Lunatic Cultus was defeated, we started the Celestial Pillar event. I first went to go challenge the Solar Pillar, and we ended up taking that out quite easily using the Alpha Blade. Boyos, let's be real, what is not easy with the Alpha Blade? Like, this is the best sword in the game. If it wasn't able to carry me to the Solar Pillar, I'd be a little bit anxious when it comes to fighting Moon Lord. The next pillar I went to go take out was the Vortex Pillar, and once again, we absolutely made quick work of this pillar, leaving us with the Stardust and Nebula pillars for last. Since it was nighttime, I actually decided to refight the Dust King, and we had an amazing boss fight with him, I took him out quite easily. Right after this, I proceeded to go and fight the Stardust Pillar. There was a very big problem. Because there was a spirit biome and I'm pretty sure like a jellyfish rain going on at the same time, within the exact area of the Stardust Pillar, we could not find any Stardust enemies. Almost every single spawn was conquered by every other mob but the Stardust Pillar enemies that we actually had to break to take out the shield. So after wasting 10 minutes of my life with no mob spawning, I decided to just come back to spawn use a celestial sigil that I already had and summon in the moon lord that way. No preparation needed, Alpha Blade is going to carry me through this. We summoned in the Moon Lord, and I started blasting both of his hands using the Alpha Blade. We took out all three of his eyes quite quickly, honestly I was surprised, I thought it would take a little bit longer, and once his core was exposed, we absolutely demolished it. Right after this, I found an ancient seal in my inventory, which summons all of the bosses in the game at once, so of course I had to use it. I summoned it in, and we had everything on our screen. We had a Moon Jelly Wizard, Vine Wrath, we had countless Starplate Voyagers, every vanilla boss. This was absolutely crazy and we managed to take everything out in one foul swoop using the Alpha Blade. So technically, you guys can't accuse me of not fighting all of the spirit mod bosses because here you are. This is all of the spirit mod in essentially one 10 second video clip. Be sure to check out another video like this on screen, consider subscribing to the channel if you're new, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. This has been Boyo, peace out.